Intention beads, believe and achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt. It is a blue moon month as well, which means we will begin the month on a full moon and we will end the month on a full moon. And both of these full moons are especially powerful. And that adds to how special a time this is. So let's start with the first full moon. It happens right out of the gate at the beginning of the month and it is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with a few things. Uh, this is about short distance travels. It is also connected to your understanding of your local community, your neighbors, your siblings and cousins are covered here as well. This is a part of the sky that connects to communication of all kinds. Now, here's the thing. This full moon will be happening hand in hand with Chiron. And in some way, you are going to be encouraged to look at the things that you don't normally want to look at, whether you want to call it your wounds, whether you want to call it the parts of you that feel especially vulnerable. But it is going to be through a random interaction, perhaps you being in the right place at the right time, meeting the right person, where it may feel like a whole lot of vulnerability comes to the surface. It may also be the case that if it is that you know you have siblings, cousins, or neighbors where there needs to be some healing uh, in those relationships, well, it may be that the universe grants you that very opportunity. It may also be that one of these people facilitates healing within you where they get to act as healer or perhaps you get to return that favor. Having to do with short distance travels, just know that if you do decide to take a road trip somewhere, well, chances are it may be one of those moments that affects you very deeply, changes your perception of yourself, but also helps you to feel that much more deeply as well. It isn't easy to look at ourselves with greater depths. It isn't easy to be vulnerable and to see things and perceive things and speak of things that may otherwise be difficult. But it is this full moon that is going to encourage you to do just that. If you can channel this energy, then what you communicate could end up being a force of healing for others. It is in the middle of the month, right around the 16th, when we will have this month's new moon. Now, this new moon is taking place in fellow air sign Libra, which means that you'll be able to tap into this energy to your advantage in some way. But it's not the easiest new moon. I do want to be straightforward with you. It will be speaking in tension with Jupiter, with Saturn, and with Pluto. Now, these three planets are in the sign just before yours, and not for too much longer. It is going to be in December that Jupiter and Saturn both are going to move into your sign. And it will be a little bit later this decade, 2023, 2024, is when Pluto will start entering your sign as well. And so I feel like this is the height of the energy, if you will, especially right about now, the intensity in this part of the sky, the sign just before yours is magnified now. And this part of the sky has to do with inner restlessness. It has to do with what is happening on soul and psyche and spirit. But where this new moon is, well, this is a very worldly part of your sky. This has to do with understanding your place in the world, literally and figuratively, long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters are covered here as well. And because of the way in which Saturn and Pluto and Jupiter for that matter are speaking with this new moon, it does suggest frustrations and maybe even delays. But remember, delays are not denials. Given that this is also a Mercury retrograde month, it's a good idea not to be making big choices, especially in these areas I just mentioned, because part of this Mercury retrograde is going to be spent with Mercury in this same part of the sky that the new moon is in. Now, it may very well be at this time that you are wanting a brand new beginning. You're wanting to gain traction. You are wanting to travel, for example, but there may be some delays. A lot of us are feeling that frustration right about now. It may also be the case that you are looking at expanding your horizons in some way. 
Perhaps it is with higher education or pursuing a higher understanding, perhaps a political understanding at that. But there is an awareness. Perhaps it is just your own fear or perhaps it is very tangible, but there is an awareness now of where it is perhaps there's more preparation that needs to be done. In fact, this part of the sky has to do with putting things into place that you hope will manifest bigger and better in the fullness of time. Well, that bigger and better is really right around the corner. Like I said, December, it is the beginning of a brand new, bold new chapter for you. The kind that will likely stay with you for the rest of your life. And I don't say that lightly. I'll be making special horoscopes about that. So don't worry with Jupiter specials uh, coming up. And also, of course, the year ahead special. So be on the lookout for that in the months ahead. But for now, know that in some ways, I feel like this is one of those last bursts of cleansing understanding how your own unconscious gets in the way of you truly feeling a sense of unlimited possibilities, of you truly embracing what it is that you can do, having a greater vision for your life, for example. And it may be at this time as well that your own beliefs, like your spiritual beliefs, your religious beliefs, or your political beliefs are in some way challenged. And if that is the case, you will find a way to understand it with greater depth and navigate this time. Now, regardless of what happens, there is a sense of things being a little bit out of your hands. And again, that really is okay. You are on the precipice of a sense of a brand new chapter for you. And whatever needs to arise right now, it is part of this divine perfection in its own way, preparing you for a great chapter coming up ahead. Now, at the very end of the month on Halloween, we are going to have a full moon. Now this full moon is happening hand in hand with your ruling planet Uranus. And that means it is a surprise minute. This full moon is taking place at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, having to do with home, having to do with family of origin, having to do with your understanding of your past, where it is that you've been before. And it is Uranus now that very likely will bring you very surprise moments of having to address your past in some way. Now, for some, it may be a visitor of some kind or hearing from somebody. Uh, the last person you were expecting pops up into your awareness in some way. And someone who may very likely be connected to your very distant past at that, or your childhood for that uh, matter. This can also be changes happening on the home front. So whether this is buying, selling, moving, new roommate, uh, these types of scenarios can come up. Remember, Mercury is going to be retrograde at this point. So it's a good idea as a general principle not to be signing contracts. However, if it shows up for you, if you have to do it, then you have to trust it. This part of the sky being connected to your family of origin as well may mean that very quickly you are wanting to spend time with your family and there can be some very quick developments on that front. Now, regardless of what does transpire, know that what this energy says is that there is a sense of extremes here. So if you're connecting with someone from your past, again, very much by surprise, either you're really delighted by it or you're really not. <laughs> if it is that very quickly your home and living circumstances change, either you're very enlivened and happy about it or you're really not. But regardless of what comes up, you will find a way to address it and you will thrive at this time. And whatever does come up seems to be deeply meaningful to you. It changes you in some way. It isn't just about what's happening in your external circumstances, but how it is informing you that much more personally. Where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be this month and right around the second of the month that Venus is going to move into a part of the sky for you that has to do with profound vulnerability. It has to do with being known more deeply and how it is that intimacy can serve as a catalyst moment. Venus will be here right to the last days of the month before moving into fellow air sign Libra. Now I'll talk about that more once we get into next month, but for pretty much this entire month, you are gonna be feeling this Venus in a very consequential part of the sky, having to do with truth and more depth of insight. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, with Venus here, you really want something real. You have to feel it uh, on a level of authenticity or else it's just not gonna interest you. 
However, this does set up a month where you may very well connect with someone who in some way does serve as a catalyst towards more sweeping change in your life. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this is energy of truth, energy of insight. And it is going to be now that you are coming to know this person more deeply, perhaps sharing more of yourself. And either it is going to help you to feel that much closer to this person and feel a depth of connection or not. It may very well be that you learn things about this person. Perhaps they're sharing things with you that make you realize you want to go in a different direction. And for those of you who are in an established bond, this part of the sky having to do with greater vulnerability, it does suggest that you and your partner are growing closer and deepening the commitment the two of you share. This part of the sky can also sometimes speak to your partner's income and Venus here does suggest a boost taking place for them that ends up benefiting you. Perhaps it is that they're able to be more generous in a way that feels especially affirming. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here, right? It is a big astrological month. I'm going to say I really do love that energy in the beginning of the month with that full moon. None of the important lunar events this month are easy necessarily. However, it is that full moon conjunct Chiron that represents profound insight and healing and a depth of understanding. It is by you being open to others and being willing to communicate that you discover new things about yourself, how much more it is you have to give, what your unique voice may be in the world. And along the way, you may end up also feeling remarkably healed in the vulnerability that you share. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.